All right, hi everybody. I'm Doug Nelson. Good evening, and uh, welcome to Form and Function. Let me, let me describe a couple of things about Form and Function first, and then um, from there, let me, let me just explain kind of what we'll do this weekend. This seminar is really different, really different than the other seminars that you took, in that the other seminars are all about um, content. It's like, here's how you do this, here's how you do that, here's how you do this, and kind of walking you through the whole format. This seminar is really not like that, in that it's really about the decisions you make and why you make them. So it's much more of an overview and putting the pieces together rather than here's how you do this and here's how you do that. Um, almost always when I'm teaching somewhere, if I was teaching like one of our first four seminars, someone's always flipping through the book. And they're always looking to see, okay, I wonder how they do this, I wonder how they do that, I wonder how they do this. That's all great, but really good treatment on the wrong muscle is going to get you nowhere, right? So it's sort of like having a vocabulary. Um, being a good storyteller, being a good writer, isn't about the number of words you know. It's about when to use which words, right? So, uh, you know, a novelist, a great novelist, doesn't use more words than anybody else. They just st structure them in a different way. And that's really important to the work also. It's not about knowing five million technique techniques. It's really about knowing a few of them really, really well and making really good choices. So that's what this seminar is about. Tonight, here's what we'll do. Tonight, I, I really want to look at the structure of a really great session and look at some big picture issues. And tomorrow, we will then spend most of the day with the pelvis. Like from here to here, we'll spend probably six hours. And it's that complex. And, and we're leaving a lot of stuff out, actually. Um, but it's, you know, every time I say that, I always think about, I've seen lots of, um, you know, like postural analysis seminars out there, and they're six hours in length. And I'm thinking, wow, because we spend six hours just from here to here, easily. And um, so once we do that, then we're going to go to the feet, to the knees, to the back, to the shoulders, to the neck. We'll look at each thing individually. And then, just like everything else, we'll take all the pieces that we did, put all those pieces back together again, and look at, OK, now what does that mean for the big picture? And then we'll put all those pieces back together, and that will happen on Sunday. Um, at the end of Sunday, for instance, in your manual, if you flip to the end of it, see those drawings of people with lines and all that sort of stuff? Here's what will happen on Sunday. On Sunday, you'll look at those drawings and you'll fill in all the muscles that you suspect are the problems. And then you'll be able to tell me, for each muscle that you do, why you said that, how you could find out if that's really true, so you sort of defend it. Um, and be able to c do that with each different drawing, and they're going to be wildly different. So almost every time on Friday night, people look at that and they think, sure, uh-huh. <laughs> so I'm not coming on Sunday. Uh, and you know what? It's really interesting, because every time, and this is the seminar that I uh, exclusively teach, so I teach this one tons. Almost every time, that's the piece where I almost have to put the brakes on and say, enough. We have to stop because we don't have any more time. People love that part. And I doubt that you'll be any different, actually. Because part of it is that there aren't any wrong answers. Right? If you want to get from here to Cleveland, there are a lot of ways to do that, truthfully. Yep, you could take 71 if you wanted. That's not the only way, right? And who's to say what the right way is? As long as you get to Cleveland, all you have to do is say, this is why I did what I did. And I did it for this reason. Who's to say that that's the right call or the wrong call? So it's not about the answer, it's about the quality of the question. 